Hello friends, this video question will be posted at the Magix Movie Edit Pro uh, forum there. I have two questions about the chroma key green screen. There seems to be a problem and I'm looking for your advice or suggestions. I'm running Windows 10 on a PC. I'll, po I'll post the other specs down below. You'll see here on my left screen, I have the Movie Edit Pro Plus, which I purchased about four years ago in 2016. On the right screen is the Movie Edit Pro Premium. But the chroma key now is very different. For example, if you go to the 2016, the 2016 uh, Pro Plus and you click on you click on chroma key, if you click the stamp, the stamp button and click green, it immediately just removes all of the green. No problem. And then you just adjust it with the threshold or fade range. There's those two adjustments. So very easy to do. I've been using it for four years. No problem. Now I got the new version just last week or two weeks ago, the Movie Edit Pro Premium, but the setup is very different and it's very different and it's very difficult to use, at least my understanding. Here's the reason why. Number one, if you go over and click stamp, highlight it, green, and click stamp, it just turns gray. It's just a gray background. And no matter how much you try to change this threshold back and forth, I don't know if you can see that that well. It just kind of blurs it out. It doesn't get rid of the green. And even if you change the fade range, you know, no matter no matter what you do, you're not going to get rid of it. So what you have to do now, I saw a video online, is you have to click color, uh, highlight the green, and then that will make it go away, and then adjust it later with the fade range. The problem is if you compare the 2016 version to the new version, the new version does not have as clean as a border as the older version. The new one's very difficult to use. You can't get that clean version. You'll get these pictures where these blurry areas around, for example, the edges of my shoulder, you can see it very clearly. I don't know why it's worse in the new version. Question number two, so the first question is, why is it so difficult to use? Am I doing something wrong? Question number two is, you'll notice in the 2016 version, if you want to save this as a template, or let's see, you right click, video effects, save video effects, it will give you the option of the green box. You can save the green screen chroma key settings and then load that into a future video. It makes it so much easier. That's the older version. Now in the newer version, if you go to the newer version and you click um, video effects, save video effects, it will so show section and transparent. It will not allow you to save the green screen. That's if you're using that color version. However, if you click cancel here and go to stamp, green, of, now this one does not work, but if you click right, right click, video effects, save video effects, it will allow you to save the chroma key. So this new stamp fe feature, which doesn't work anymore, they'll let you save that. But the other feature color, which does work, you can't save that. And I don't know why, I don't know what's going on. Uh, I'm tempted to ask for a refund because it's just not worth the money. I don't see any, there's nothing in the new version that's helpful other than removing all the gaps, which is very helpful, but it's just not worth my time to remove the gaps, but have this huge chroma key problem. I have to keep repeating everything for all my different files. So I'm curious what you have to say. Thank you very much for your help. Have a great day.